that. So today I'm going to be talking about my top five TV shows. Um, I'm sure this this is the one that I had a lot of issues with too. Um, but I got there in the end and I really found out like my top five favourite TV shows. Um, they are in order this time, which also took a while, but I'm just glad to also be uploading this video <laughs> um, and continue this awesome, well, I find it awesome, you might not, but this cool series on the channel so that you get to know more things about me and more things that I enjoy. So we'll just get right into that and I'll just stop rambling on. So, number five. Um, number five is Lost Girl. If you haven't seen Lost Girl, Lost Girl is a supernatural show where um, Bo, um, Bo Dennis is a succubus and she doesn't know that she's a succubus yet. She's trying to figure out like what's going on. She bumps into Kenzie who's a, a human and it kind of just follows her journey of her knowing that she's a succubus and um, kind of come to terms with it and also then the trap like the oh my gosh the word the struggles of being a succubus and the things that are happening in the immortal world because her dad is like really evil and he's trying to like get her to come back and it's a whole thing I'm not very good at explaining things but you should 100% check it out um, it's very very good do you truly not know what you are? Forget about me. What the hell are you? What the hell were those freaks that I just met? They're Fae, an evolutionary branch that predates on humans. What kind of Fae am I? You're a succubus. Saying you can seduce people into doing anything just by touching them? Has it occurred to you that hanging out with a homicidal freak might not be the brightest move for you? <sighs> You are so emo. Show mercy. Mercy this. Number four is The Witcher. Me and Greg just finished watching this recent, very, very recently. And I just loved it so much. Um, I think it's because I love the game Elder Scrolls. Um, I know that The Witcher is a book and a game, but I don't know, like, it just reminds me of that game. It made me love it even more. Um, but I just love the whole aspect um, of it all and how, you know, Geralt and, oh my gosh, Yenevieve, that's her name. Um, oh no, Yennefer, Yennefer, not Yenevieve. Yennefer were on two different kind of timelines and then how, it was confusing at one part though, but I get how it was confusing if that makes sense because like they kind of started from the end and then work their way back for that to make sense. But that's how I took it anyway. I could have taken it completely wrong. I just really like the whole aspect of it all and you know how he's a witcher and how he like fights like all these mystical things and you know like the journey and everything. I just thought it was very very good. I've heard tales of your kind, witcher. <laughs> Created by magic. Roaming the continent. We don't want your kind here. Hunting monsters for a price. Number three is The Punisher, obviously. Um, as we talked about, I love John Ber Bernthal that plays Frank Castle in The Punisher. I just think as a whole, the series is very captivating and very, like, whoa. It's very violent and physical, so you know, like, you've seen a lot of action and it's just like, whoa. But it's just, it's really, really good and it keeps you on the edge of your seat and it's just amazing. Not amazing though when your fiance thinks that he is Frank Castle and tries to play fight with you and tries to do like, oh my God, I'm gonna pretend to like, your head into a thing. Like, I promise it is play fighting, but I'm like, really, you're not Frank Castle, you're not Daredevil, like, please stop. Shoot on sight. I don't know anything. Fair enough. Dead. Number two is The Nest. 
Um, the next is um, on BBC One. Um, you can catch it on iPlayer now because it just finished last night, which was Monday. Um, in case this video is not out until later on. <laughs> um, which finished on Monday and amazing. I have spoken about this series before, um, briefly, um, but I'll talk about it again. Um, it's about two sides, in, two, two sides of Glasgow, you know, you have the higher, like the richer side and the poorer side and they collide um, because Kaya is having an argument with her social worker and um, Emily comes across her because she's on the phone and she's not really paying attention and she sort of drives into her a little bit and that's how they kind of collide into each other and she kind of, Kaya gets involved in their struggle of not being able to conceive so she offers to be their surrogate and then it kind of becomes a whole like the series as a whole asks a lot of questions like is this morally right or you know who's manipulating who like who's actually coming out on top and it's just a really captivating series that keeps you on the edge of your seat and I just love every moment of it and every single person actor actress in this whole series everyone that worked on it was like amazing um, it just was such a good series and I'm really 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 hoping that once all this is all over that a series 2 could happen because I think that would be so cool. This is something I want to do. I can change your life and you can change mine. Using an 18 year old fresh out of children's home, Jesus Emily. Well I'm doing it. What's With or without you. This lassie has keyed into you and you're not thinking straight. It's exploitation, pure and simple. Daniel Docker, he's called. Minted. Won't start for Glasgow. Something's not right. She's got all the power. We've no choice but to trust her. What have you told them? The lassie's story doesn't add up. Number one, um, if you haven't heard me talk about this show, it's The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Um, that one made it to the top because when me and Greg watched it, we literally watched it really fast. And as I've mentioned quite a lot that I'm quite a lightweight when it comes to sleep, I get tired a lot more, like a lot more easier than others. Um, and I would stay up until like three, four in the morning just watching it. I'd be like, can we watch the next one? It's like, no, like I'm gonna go to be like, no, we should just wait till tomorrow. I'm like, no. Um, but that's another one that's like so captivating and the story just captivates you and just want to know more and more and more. And like the character development, the effects, like all of the sort of like kind of behind the scenes work that goes into it. It's like prosthetics for some parts. Um, and just everything about it is just amazing and I just love it so much. Um, it's definitely my favourite series at the moment and I really cannot wait for the next series to come out because I know that they just finished filming one. So I really cannot wait for that to come out. I know probably will come out later on in the year because they just released one earlier in the year. But I'm so desperate to get my Michelle Gomez Lucy Davis and Miranda all fits, like, we need more. <laughs> In the town of Greendale, where it always feels like Halloween, <gasps> there lived a girl who was half witch, Absent omen. half mortal, who, on her 16th birthday, would have to choose between two worlds, the witch world of her family and the human world of her friends. Happy birthday, sweet 16. And that girl is me. Rise. No, I really love all of these shows. They're all very, very good shows. Um, Lost Girl though was a show that finished, was it two or three years ago? I just finished watching the last series because it was on Now TV. Um, I don't have Sky. Um, so I couldn't, and every time I kept trying to look for it, it was like nowhere, but it came back. So I finally watched the final season and was like, heartbroken with how it ended but all of these series are so captivating um, and are great fun to watch so if you want to check out any of these films then awesome 
Um, if not, then that's okay too. I just wanted to share my top five favorite TV shows and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I'm gonna keep continuing to add to the series with other things, not just acting things, you know, like if you have any other suggestions, like please leave them in the comments. Um, I had suggestions for like unsigned artists, like bands, um, top five YouTubers. So, you know, I'm gonna do loads of other things, not just related to acting, I'm gonna just like dive into other categories and, you know, just let people know what my top five favorite things are and just to get to know me a little bit, just for something to do while we're in isolation. Um, I do still have other video ideas planned outside of the series, so hopefully we can, I can, well, I can get those done um, in the time being as well as this series. So I'm going to stop yabbling on and hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!